What's up, man gamers? Welcome back to another 335 guide video. Uh, today we're talking about the loop. Um, excuse me, we're talking about the cat blitz two roll. Yesterday we talked about the loop crash two. The day before that we talked about the base play. Um, cat blitz two roll very simple to run, uh, but it's a very effective play in my opinion. Uh, what we want to do with this is we're going to be able to instigate uh, kind of three man right side pressure at the quarterback. And what's really good about this play is that while we're blitzing from the right, it does a really good job of taking with the underneath on the right side of the field. And so it's a really good play. And uh, I just really hope you guys like this uh, setup. All right, so as far as left edge pressure, I don't run left edge pressure out of this play. I only run it from the right side. Uh, so it's going to be a little quicker video today. But it is still a really good play. Uh, setup is always the same. What we want to do is we want to base a line. We want to shift our D line to the right. You see, we want to do that quick too because if we do it quick, it's going to look like all of our other plays. Then we want to spread our linebackers. And from that point, we want to, uh, especially if this is a passing set. Now, if it's a running set, you want to leave these defensive linemen on their stunt angles. If it's a if it's a passing set or you think it's a pass, then you want to run um, this this version that I'm going to be giving you today. Uh, so you want to crash your defensive line down, and then you want to globally re-blitz your ROS outside linebacker here, Harrison. From you, from that point, you are free to take this guy, Johnson. And what is really cool about this is that this deep blue zone is going right up the seam, as opposed to kind of fanning out and leaving the seam open like most cover twos do. This is going right up the seam, so they can't force to the seam. So the only vulnerability in this play is if they're maybe on a drag. So what I'll do is I'll take Johnson here. And I'll actually drop him into a straight deep blue zone or a hook zone. And you'll see we're going to be able to get a pressure sending just a few guys at the quarterback. And you see we get that nice right edge pressure uh, on Tony Romo there. Let's show you that setup one more time. What we want to do is we're going to base a line, shift our D line to the right, spread our linebackers. Remember, if it's a running set, you want to leave these stunts on. Since it's not a running set, we're going to uh, set up for the pass. We're going to crash our D-line down, and we're going to globally re-blitz our ROS outside linebacker Harrison here. You see that we have these three blitz angles on the right side, and if you really wanted to get ballsy, you could actually quarterback spy Geno Atkins and still drop Johnson into the hook zone, and you'll see you're going to be able to kind of try to get that three-man rush, but it doesn't always come in. As you see that time, it didn't. But, um, you know, you do have the potential to do that. All right, so one more time here. Base the line, shift your D-line to the right, spread your linebackers. And then you want to crash your D-line down, globally blitz your right of screen outside linebacker. Take Johnson, put him in any zone you want. Sometimes I'll put him in a deep blue. Oftentimes it's a hook zone, and then I might take this hook zone backer and re-hook him uh, so that the hook zones are now very balanced. I love this. Uh, let me show you really quickly. Oh, you obviously see the pressure come in. Watch them try to force an out route. You see Ilka will pick it off in that hook zone. It's a very unique yellow zone. I think it's one of the best ones in the game. I get so many interceptions on it, and it's just a really good play. So, guys, that's the cat blitz two roll. Um, remember that if they're pounding you with, like, buck sweep and strong right running sets, call this play. It's very effective. Run the setup. Everything I told you except you don't crash the line down. And you still get, um, let me show you what happens if you don't. So if you don't crash the line down, so say you just run the standard stuff and you re-blitz the linebacker, but you don't crash the line down because it's a running set, you'll see that the pressure will still come in. It's just it'll, it'll, It will come in a little more passively, and it typically will come in from the corner. Um, that is the only drawback to not crashing the line down. But like I said, you know, if you're not crashing the line down, then that means they're probably in a passing set anyway. Or, or that means they're probably in a running set anyway. They're probably going to run. So um, that is the cat blitz two roll, guys. That's the way I run it. Uh, it's you know I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it today, but again, it is one of those plays that there's not a whole lot setup wise that you have to do. But when you understand like the way the zones play, it just is a really good play, especially for strong right. Anything strong right, uh, this just does a really good job with. It's a blitz off the right edge that has good coverage to the right side of the field, which is hard to find and, and really effective in this gear's game. So, this cat blitz to roll, guys. Tomorrow we're going to touch on the 